Hi everyone, we're in the Monkey Gym set today, uh, opposite the ladder bars, and I've also got two yoga straps joined together. We used to have a band hip flexor stretch um, up here on YouTube, but that was one shown, um, I think, in a gym in Edmonton where I was using a, a stretchy band. And we have found that the solid yoga straps actually work far better for this exercise. So let me show you how we've done it. We've got two loops together. If you've got a very long one, you might be able to get away with one. Um, tied around a very solid support, in this case the ladder bars, and I step into it like this and put the strap right up underneath the glute, the glute itself, right on the gluteal fold in fact, and then I step back with this leg as far as I can and I work my front foot out a suitable distance. This is something that each of you will have to decide for yourself. The front foot a suitable distance so that when you go down and start to stretch the hip flexors, the hamstrings are also under stretch, but are not the main sensation you feel. So once you are in this lunge position, this is how you bring the stretch on. You rotate this hip forward, and you can see how far that came forward then. You tuck your tail. That does a number of things, but it activates the glutes and that inhibits the hip flexor. You sink down. I'm using the chair for a bit of balance here so I can concentrate on the stretch completely. I then try to straighten the back leg a bit while leaning back against the strap to hold that hip forward. So I'm straightening, 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 and then watch, tuck and lean back a bit. I sink down a bit further, I re-square, I re-tuck, I re-straighten and lean back trying not to come up from the floor too far. And I've got an extremely good stretch down through here, right down into the mid quad. Now I can do a contraction. I'm holding onto the strap here for a bit of security. I'm dragging this leg forward towards the ladder bars. But of course, gravity and friction are holding my foot in place. Four, three, two, one, stop. I sink down further, I re-square, I re-tuck, I re-straighten, and then tuck again and ah, lean back. That is a massive stretch. Re-square, re-tuck, sink. Oh. And basically you just keep going like that. I'm going to do the other side briefly, just so I'm not walking around in circles all day today. Up underneath the gluteal fold, step forward with this leg, step back with this one. Move the chair into a position of support. Square the hips by bringing, it's always squaring the hips by bringing the back leg forward. Tuck the tail and sink. You can use this hand for bracing too, of course. Try to straighten the back leg. Sink a bit further, square a bit more, tuck a bit more. And push my shoulders back behind the line of the hips if you can. Re-square, re-tuck, sink, straighten as much as you can without coming up too high. Oh. And the beautiful thing about this strap is you can hold yourself in position and it's very smooth. What we found with the stretchy straps was there was constant movement. Because this thing's completely solid, all I'm feeling is a beautiful stretch in the back leg. Try this, you're going to love it. Well, you'll hate it and love it. It's a great stretch.